Hello, welcome to studio vlog number eight. I told you guys last time that I had some exciting new products coming for the new shop update and they came in. I'm so excited guys. So I got two different pins. I'm so excited. Um, the first one is a skull pin. It literally looks so good. I chose to do a black metal around it because it looked better than gold and I am obsessed with how this came out. Oh my god, this is so cute. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to put these up on the shop. I want to do it before the holidays so I might have my shop update in the next couple weeks or so but I'll definitely let you guys know when I'll put these up because they look so good. Oh my god. The second pin design is this little cat with a tote bag. Um, and it has like some groceries, like a baguette, um, flowers, and some lettuce. And I got these tote bags. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. I'm so happy right now, guys. I hope you guys like them. So I made this tote bag design with a little cat. And he has a little tote bag filled with his groceries. And then I also made a matching pin in the same color. Holy, this looks so good. And the best part about it, um, there's like a recycle logo right there. And then on the inside it says, this bag is earth friendly made with recycled cotton. It was really important for me to find a bag that was made of recycled materials. And I really, really wanted to make my own tote bag design. And I thought this was perfect to take to the grocery store because you're shopping with a little kitty cat. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go sort the pins now and also finish up class because I'm on my lunch break. Um, but I'll talk to you guys soon. so much space to move around now but I'm gonna start building my new desk so come along with me um... <laughs> oh my god that box was so heavy okay let's see what's in it <laughs> Okay, there are only six steps, so how hard can this be? Hello guys, 
it's literally only 2 30 and the sun is already setting and so i figured i would have to film really fast before the sun goes down so it's been a week since i received my desk from flexi spot so i wanted to give it a little time before i let you guys know my thoughts about it uh first i just want to say thank you for everyone who watches my vlogs i would not be able to have collaboration opportunities like this without you guys and this desk kind of saved my neck so i'm gonna just thank you guys for that as well my thoughts on the desk it was pretty easy to set up although i do think you might need a second person and a drill if you want to do it right I managed to do it with just myself and a screwdriver, but take that as you will. I've really been loving the standing feature of the desk. I work 9 to 5, 3 days a week, and the days I don't work, I have 6 hour studio classes. So I'm at my desk the majority of the day and getting to move around is pretty nice. It's a lot more spacious underneath compared to my other desk. I'm able to have a friend sit next to me if I want. And an added bonus is that I'm able to raise it a little higher so my plants hit the sun. Um, my fig tree is getting a little big so it's blocking the light of the plants on my desk so that's just a little fun feature. The only con I have is that the wires can get messy if you're plugging lots of things in but I managed to somewhat hide it with my underneath storage. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about the desk. So if you guys are interested in the FlexiSpot desk, I have a code for you guys to save $15 off and it everything should be in the description. So I thought it would be a good time to do like a little mini desk tour because I love watching desk tours and I love like little organization things because I got a couple things to put under my desk for storage. I also have one order to pack today so I thought it was also a good time to show you guys how I set up my room when I'm doing work or when I'm packing order. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, let's start under my desk because um, this is the part that I'm most proud about, I think. So the first thing I have over here is my air purifier. My room gets super dusty and I've had this for about like two years and I've had to change the filter probably around like six times. It, it's disgusting. Um, and this little thing I got from Ikea, it was pretty inexpensive. It was probably around like 20 to $30. I have my sketchbooks up here, um, my cutting mat more watercolor paper, some other watercolor sketchbooks. I have this little ceramic thing with just like miscellaneous things like command hooks, um, camera batteries, a clip. Those are fun. And then I have this little hanging thing also from Ikea. Um, in here I have the stuff that I grab most often like pens, pencils. Um, I have a couple stickers in here, stuff like that. Um, and I have this gold basket, um, it has a bunch of my plant stuff like a water moisture meter, um, plant food, and the oil because I've had a little bit of a fungus gnat problem. Um, the next couple things in here are old candles. I've been meaning to take the rest of the wax out to make like a propagation jar for it but I just haven't done that yet and it's been like months. Um, I just have my glasses, some other chargers, and then a pouch with my hard drive and an SD card reader. My garbage can is over there, and then this stuff at the bottom here is super fun. I think I told you guys in the previous video that I ordered like a little ceramic turntable thing, so this just houses all my ceramic stuff. And I'm gonna make a video next week trying this out because I haven't used it yet and I've been holding on to this clay for a while. So I just have Sculpey clay, um, air dry clay that I wanna try out, and then the, if I can get it out. And then I have the little turn, um, then I have the little ceramic wheel right here. And it fits perfectly in this little wooden box and it could just go under here. I'm really excited to use that. That's pretty much all there is under here. So let's go to the top of the desk. Um, the top of my desk is pretty simple. I have it on 31 inches right now for the height. Um, over here I have my printmaking stuff from this morning since I had class today. It's pretty rough, so let's not look at that for too long. Uh, this is my favorite corner of my desk. It has my salt lamp, it has a humidifier. There's no water in it right now, so it's not going, but it lights up. I have my prayer plant, and then I'm gonna say the name, but it's gonna be really bad. Um, Trio Star Stromanth? 
I want to say, but this guy isn't doing too well and I don't know what, what it is. Moving on, it's just my notebook, some memo pads. Uh, this one is from Victoria Doodle Studio and then this one is really cute. It has like different breakfast scenes and I got this at a stationery store in Japan. And then below here is my notebook, which you guys probably think I keep like a really pretty notebook, but it's really ugly and disorganized and just kind of scribbles and random stuff. Um, <laughs> over here hiding behind my mirror is a little collage I did for class. Um, that just goes behind there. I have my iPad and my laptop right there, a little mirror, hello. And in this corner is my water bottle. I have a little fig leaf propagating right here. It's growing a lot of roots like really fast. This was probably half the size uh, last week. Um, I have this plant which I kind of don't know what it's called. It's not doing as well. It doesn't have as many roots but I'm still, I'm still hoping. I have this figure holding my necklaces, which is a really good necklace holder, I must say. Here I just have like earrings and stuff. I don't really know where else to put it. Um, I think I've showed you guys this before. It's just kind of like my packing tower and it just has all my packing supplies, stamps. Um, I have a parking ticket right here. Don't look at that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty boring. Hope you enjoyed that little mini desk tour. So right now I have one order to pack for Michaela from Honolulu and I'm going to show you guys how I set up my desk for packing orders, making stickers, making prints, etc. Um, I usually wouldn't do this for one order because I am very lazy and I hate taking out the cart with my printer and Cricut and pushing it over here because my room is pretty small and like I said, I get pretty lazy. Um, but you know, for the sake of the video, for the sake of showing you for inspiration, I thought I would show you. Um, the sun is going down so fast, so I'm trying to do it um, before it goes down, but let me see. I'll set you guys up here on my windowsill. Actually, no, I'll set up my tripod. You guys have seen this before but this is the cart that i got from cb2 my printer a scale my cricut um, my label maker and my paper cutter up here Thank you guys all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, if you guys are interested in a flexi spot desk, the link is down in the description. And I'll include a link to the other furniture I mentioned, like the chairs and my cart and everything else. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to go home for Thanksgiving right after this video. So I think I'm going to keep my desk standing up and then place all my plants up here so they get some sunlight while I'm gone. I hope you guys... Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!